Hey, good afternoon. Today is Sunday, April the 7th, 2024. The time now is 2.04 p.m. So yesterday marked a very significant uh, time, a very significant day in Liberian history. In Liberia, we know it as April 6th, okay? I'm trying here to speak with the Liberian vernacular. We may say April 6, but it is April 6. And basically, April 6, 1996, was a very stressful time in Liberian uh, history in terms of our turbulent times. So Liberia from 1980 uh, uh, to about 2006, or let's say from the 1980s, to about uh, 2006, uh, uh, we basically had a very turbulent time in our history. And we are still feeling the, uh, 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 the aftershock of our Liberian turbulence. And I mean a time of a political destabilization of which 14 years were years of all-out war. So on April 6, 1996, there was uh, an attack and a continuation of the Liberian Civil War. And it is said by Human Rights Watch that in the Monrovia uh, region, or in Monrovia, that is the capital city of Liberia, where uh, the April 6 attack took place, okay, Monrovia was the epic center of April 6 uh, war basically saw about 3,000 people uh, dying, okay? 3,000 lives were lost at that instant, okay? Relating to the attack. And about 80,000 Liberians uh, became uh, displaced instantly as a result of the April 6 uh, war or the April 6 attack. Now, being a Liberian and reflecting back, okay? Uh, in retrospect, I cannot recall of any time when we have a national uh, commemoration of our turbulent times, of our civil war, or of the very uh, instances or incidents that have left scars in our hearts, in our mind, or in our consciousness as Liberians. And I hope to one day uh, push this uh, forward so that we can begin to have a national uh, mourning or a national uh, commemoration of our civil war or our turbulent times. But uh, during the Liberian civil war, uh, which started in the 80s and or 1980 or whatever, but you can also uh, reflect back to push the whole idea of the turbulent times in Liberian history to even go back as the late 70s or early 70s. And also, we can go much further back to the foundation of Liberia. But one thing that we Liberians and many Africans became uh, accustomed to is the image, or let's say the images of Africans toting their belongings and running away, okay, fleeing uh, disability. That is an image that I think that we Africans, or in this case I'm talking uh, about Liberians, that we Liberians can uh, try to do away with. We should make sure we try to uh, initiate the necessary changes that we need, the necessary changes that our descendants, our children may need, so that the whole idea of uh, black people or African people or Liberians in this case being people who always need help, people who are always fleeing destabilization rather than uh, people who are relaxing and who are using their brain to engage in geopolitics, engage in international economics, engage in business, entrepreneurship, and all that uh, sort of things. But anyway, if you're a Liberian, and I hope that you reflect on the past, I do believe that Liberians, we are all victims of our civil war. 
whether we are talking about the perpetrators who carried out the massacre and the destruction of our country, or the people who were victims. For example, there were women who were raped. There were fathers who were placed on gunpoint as rebel. Many of them, little kids, child soldiers, raped their little daughters. There were uh, people who witnessed their villages being burned, okay, burned to the ground and destroyed. Grandmas and grandpas being killed brutally. And even the young people, okay, quote unquote, the child soldiers who carried out uh, these acts of atrocities. Many of them, okay, they are in Liberia today and they are feeling the post uh, traumatic uh, stress or post traumatic disorder. They are feeling or experiencing PTSD, okay, resulting from what they experienced and what they themselves uh, did to the nation, to their people, their neighbors, their uh, fellow countrymen. However, they are not being treated for their, their issues, the issues that they are feeling, and I wish them the best. Uh, I'm a victim as well. I'm a victim of our civil war because like many of us Liberians, okay, we remain stranded in people's countries. Uh, it is said that around the time of our civil war, we had about 2 million people or so, okay, or roughly over 2 million people. About a million people left the country to seek refuge in other people's countries, okay, whether we are talking about in Africa, in West Africa, or in the West. About 250 to 300,000 Liberians died during the Civil War. And then we have those who were wounded, who still, carrying, who still carry the scars of our Civil War, the physical scars of our Civil War. And then we are talking about the ones who remain in the country, who had to fight for their lives, who had to run away from rebel, who had to uh, hide in the bushes, okay, in the forest. There are those who recall times when they went to hide in the bush and family members, daughters, sons, husbands, brothers, uncles, nephew, aunties, grandmas, grandpas get bitten by snakes and they die as a result of being bitten by a snake. And many of them could not even mourn the death of loved ones because of fear that the rebels might be around, okay, close by, listening. And once they cry, the rebel would discover them. The rebel would turn on them and kill them. So we still wear the scars of our civil war, physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Now, for Liberians around the world who are seeking refuge still in other people's country, I wish you the best. I hope you continue to recover. But I hope you continue to reflect on our past times and that we continue to look at our past times, our civil war times, as a lesson so that the crazy politics that led to the destabilization of Liberia, that led to the civil war, does not come back and haunt us. In current times, we have so many things going on in Liberia, okay? The situation in the country uh, uh, is not stable, uh, yet the people in Liberia, when I went to Liberia, I remember somebody told me, uh, we, don't have, we don't have it, however, we continue to act as if we have it, as a means to escape our problem. For that, I applaud the Liberian people. Like, uh, our people, are, uh, they are strange people. Even when they are feeling pain, they celebrate, okay? That is the, the history, the reality of Liberians and of Africans in general. Even though our people suffer, even though they continue to experience hardship, they laugh, they smile, they dance in uh, the process of that. But uh, yes, if you continue to live in other people's countries, out of Liberia, please do your things, okay? Please uh, think positively for yourself, your family, and for your country. There are those in uh, places around the world who continue to uh, criticize the country harshly, okay? Yes, uh, it is good we should criticize our country. In this case, we have a new president who's been in power roughly over two months, approaching three months. We must criticize him. We must scrutinize him. However, we must do so fairly, okay, uh, 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 properly. We must do so without, uh, we must do so without malice, okay? We must love him. We must respect him and hope that he succeed in his uh, policy for Liberia. Because if our president fail, 
it means our country failed. And we cannot afford as Liberians to take our countries back to uh, the turbulent times. We cannot afford as Liberians to uh, bring our young Liberians who, fortunately enough, they were not around during our turbulent times. They continue to hear uh, news or stories of our turbulent times. And that actually is the good things about Liberians and Africans. We are a uh, society that value speech. We value uh, story, okay? So the old ones, the ones who lived during the turbulent times continue to tell the story of their experiences to the young ones. I hope that is the best and the most we should do. We should be careful that we do not introduce the young ones to the, the carnage, the, the killing, the pain, the suffering that was the Liberian Civil War. But if you continue as Liberians, whether you are home in Liberia, we are talking about all the counties from Montserrado County to Lofa County to Nimba to Sino to Grand Jeter, uh, uh River G County uh, and Cape Mount County. Uh, Grand Bassa County and all the counties that I uh, have not uh, uh, state in uh, this video as I'm talking. Whether you're Liberians in the West, in the United States, in Europe, whether you're Liberian in uh, China, many of our brothers and sisters are in China or parts of the world going to school, whether you're Liberians in the Middle East, okay, or in the various countries in our beloved Africa. I hope that you continue to think positively, to reflect on our past, to have a, uh, an entrepreneurship mindset, a business mindset, and try to take your, your, your gift back home to help our people. Now, sadly, many Liberians and Africans are reluctant to go back home to invest in the country uh, because of fear that when they send their money, Crazy family members will misuse their money. I will say there are many in our families who we can trust. We must use them to help stabilize and develop our country. Once again, I know it is late, but I hope you continue to think positively, reflecting on April 6th, a very turbulent times in our history. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.